In health news tonight, most people don't survive pancreatic cancer. It kills 88% of its patients. But there could be some uh, good news on the horizon. A vaccine for the disease might make a difference. A Hopkins doctor helped review a study on how it works. WMR2 News' Jack Watson spoke with that local doctor from Johns Hopkins and joins us now. Jack? Well, Kelly, still in the very early going, as one doctor describes it, but this study of a small group of cancer patients might hold some reassuring results. After three years of an exhausting pandemic, the word vaccine probably makes you think of this. Vials mass-produced and mass-distributed to fight a virus. This time, vaccines are targeting another deadly disease. This study looks at a very hard disease, pancreas cancer, which is resistant to most therapies. Dr. Niha Zaidi says it's an exciting thing. Zaidi is a cancer expert based right here in Baltimore with Johns Hopkins, specializing in pancreatic cancer. A study shows a vaccine could hold the key to preventing it from happening again. This particular personalized vaccine is really designed for people who have had the cancer, who have had surgery, um, and the idea is to try to eliminate or reduce the chances of recurrence or delay recurrence. Each person got a vaccine specific to them. If someone takes it, the vaccine teaches their body how to kill the cancer cells. What the vaccine does is to teach or educate one's own immune system to recognize the cancer as foreign. Of the study's 16 participants, about half of them got the response researchers were looking for. Now the question is, why is that and what makes them different? This is a small study, so it was really designed to look to see, is this approach safe? And, and I think it, it did that. Um, it also showed that it was feasible, that you could do it in a short enough amount of time, which is important when dealing with pancreas cancer. So this isn't quite the end for pancreatic cancer. In fact, there's still a ton left for scientists to look at. But the results for a vaccine are certainly encouraging. But again, early days, small studies, um, but studies that we're going to build upon and see more results. Well, the study is the result of a few years of work. It was just published today, but as Dr. Zaidi notes, we're still in the very beginning of this kind of technology.